Today I'm going to be reviewing the Wet n Wild Marilyn Monroe collection. Are any of these products worth picking up? Hi friends, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Julie and I help you find the best affordable makeup, beauty, and fashion items and teach you how to use them to always look elevated, polished, and put together. So we are gonna be jumping right into this review. I decided to wear my little rhinestones today just in honor of Marilyn Monroe. I really like Marilyn Monroe, so I was super excited to get this collection and test it out for you guys. So this is gonna be my first impression thoughts on all of the products. So let's go ahead and jump into this. First, I'm gonna go in with the clarifying finishing powder and one of the little powder poofs, <laughs> powder puffs. And I'm just going to use this powder in like on the center of my face, like in the T-zone area, just because I don't want that area of my face to be shiny. So let's test this powder out okay it's definitely mattifying i enjoyed that i also really like this little powder puff it's very similar to like my little triangle sponges that i have it's just a little round one for the rest of the face i'm going to be using the luminous setting powder and this is in the shade translucent which i thought that they might have already had a powder like this in their main line but I did not see a powder like this like in their photo focus line or any of their powders on their website so I think I'm trying to decide what kind of brush I want to use I know there's also like that bigger powder poof thing <laughs> Salem took that and I don't know where he put that so we're not going to be using that Salem is my cat um, I'll just put the footage in here of where he like carried that off. I was kind of letting him play with it at first, but then he just carried it away and I don't know where he took it. So I'm just dipping the brush into that powder and I'm just going to knock off the excess of that. And I'm just going to use that powder over here, like on my cheeks, on my chin. It's like I kind of want to use it a little bit in the T-zone just so I can see if it is shiny. I know when I swatched this earlier, because I did swatch all these products before filming this, this does have a little bit of very, very small like pieces of glitter. So I don't really know if I'm a fan of that. But... Yeah, I feel like you can kind of see it on the face a little bit. It's not terrible, but I just don't know how I feel about like those pieces of like glitter. Um, so I'll have to use this a little bit more and see, but the matte setting powder, I did like that first impression wise. Okay, next we're gonna do brows and I'm just gonna use the Mega Clear Lash and Brow Mascara. And they do sell this just like in their regular line. This comes in a set with the brow gel and the mascara. And for two of these together, it is $9.99. It comes in a cute little Maryland themed box, but I would recommend to purchase these separately if you don't really care about the Maryland box because if you buy these separately, it's like a few cents cheaper than in the little package together. So, I mean, I guess it just depends on, you know, how you feel, if you want both, if you like Maryland, if you want that kind of packaging. This brow gel seems a bit lighter than my e.l.f. clear brow gel that I normally use. Definitely the Wet n Wild price wise is a better deal. So if I end up liking this just as good as my e.l.f., I might switch over to this Wet n Wild one because cost wise, it is, you get way more product in there. So I just lightly filled my eyebrows in with a brow powder. And then to moisturize my lips before I do the red lipstick, I am gonna use the Lip Balm, which this is super cute, the packaging on this. Like I love how it has these little gold glitter bits and I did not know how this was going to translate on the lips and I did not realize this at first 
But this is a pH changing product. Like it gets pinker on your lips. It feels like a lip oil. The only thing that I don't really like about this one is it has a really strong floral scent. So if you do not like heavily scented things, I don't think you would like this. I don't really get any of those gold glitters on my lips like I thought I would, but I do enjoy just like that pink color. So the balm and the lipstick comes in a pack together with two of these for $9.99. I will say that the packaging on this is better quality. Like the regular Mega Last lipsticks, like this feels like much like harder and heavier plastic than this. And the lipstick itself, seems like it's in there better. You know, I don't know. Sometimes with these Mega Last ones, like, I mean, I love these lipsticks, but sometimes they can just kind of break um, or they just don't feel as sturdy where these other ones feel more sturdy. And I think that these lipsticks have a little bit more product in there. These have 4.2 grams where their standard lipsticks have 3.3 grams. These have almost a gram more of product in there than their regular lipsticks. So, I mean, even though these are more expensive than their normal lipstick line, I feel like you are getting a little bit more product in there and you are getting two of these. So they're like $5 and some change. There wasn't a bronzer in this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my bronzer really quick. Just light bronzing and I'm just gonna use my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. But yeah, this little bow is one of the things that they sell, this little headband here, which I think is super cute. I'm not normally a fan of like these headbands, but I really like this one. This is $5.99, which I feel like that's not too overly priced for one of these types of headbands. I never really buy these though, so I don't really know what they run like price-wise, but I feel like that's not a bad deal. And it's like such 50s vibes with this headband. I've been in like my red era, <laughs> so I've just been in love with the color red. And I will say like the taste on that gloss, I'm not really a fan of that. I wish that whenever they made this, they just made it like scentless so it wouldn't have a taste. So that's a little bit off-putting. I don't really like that. It's kind of bitter. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with my Hard Candy Eyeshadow Primer just so this can be drying while I'm doing the rest of the face. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use the little blush here. I think the packaging is darling on this. Like, I love the packaging. With this blush, you do get a little bit more blush in this. This comes with 7.5 grams. The regular Color Icon blushes come with six grams of product. So this has a whole gram and a half more product in here. This plus the little powder poof, they come in a little set together, is $9.99, which I know that's kind of expensive for Wet n Wild. Let's see if it's worth $9.99 for this blush. So. This is in the color rose and in swatching this blush, it is a really beautiful rose color and it's definitely like a blush color I've been into lately. And this blush has a little bit of a kind of sheen or shimmer in there, which it's actually a little bit more shimmery than what I thought it was when I swatched it on my arm. It's just kind of so unfortunate that it has so much like glitter in there because I'm not normally the type of person that likes really glittery things. But yeah, I do really like the color on this. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> I really wanted to like this blush. Oh, you know what? I wanted to use the little, this little thing. This comes with the translucent, or not the translucent, 
Yeah, it does. It comes with this, the little angled brush here. These come in a little set together for $9.99. I do like this little blush brush. I mean, for me, this is a blush brush. This isn't like a brush that I would use to apply powder, but this is super soft. Such a soft brush. And I love like the iridescent diamond like handle on it. So I do kind of feel like this would be worth the $9.99 just for the brush alone but yeah let's try I'm gonna have so much of this blush on <laughs> oh my gosh yeah it's so glittery like I don't know can you guys see like the glitter on it it's like you definitely don't even need a highlight with it so the next things are the highlights and they're in the same packaging as the blushes now, the highlights also have 7.5 grams of product and Wet n Wild's normal highlights. I'm trying to see how much product comes in these. These come with 5.4 grams. So this has almost two more grams of product in the highlights. And the highlights come with like the highlight and the little powder poof. There's two different options with the highlight. You have peachy pink, which is a peachy pink highlighter. And then the other one is cool champagne. So I think at least when I swatched these, it seemed like peachy pink would be more of a blush topper. So I'm not going to use that one as a highlight. We're going to go ahead and use cool champagne. It's like, I don't know, I'm going back and forth with this blush if I'm like in love with it or not, but it definitely has a lot of glitter in there. Okay, yeah, this highlight is, woo, she's in your face. She's in your face. <laughs> very, very highlighted. Um, for me, this highlight is too much. I don't think I like this. Like maybe if you were younger and didn't have large pores or lo a lot of texture on your skin, maybe this would be good. But this is almost like too much for me. <laughs> it's like I kind of want to use the other one, but we're not. We're just going to stick with this. It's like maybe if I really buffer out, she'll look better. Because she is very highlighted. Okay. So, first impressions. Don't really like the highlights. <laughs> or at least this highlight. Way too highlighted. If you are the type of person that enjoys a very, like, bright, glittery highlight, I think you would enjoy this. But if not... No, I'll probably end up using these for eyeshadows. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go ahead and move on with the eyes. And this is the little eyeshadow palette. It is the same size as their other little mini color icon palettes. So for me, if I was gonna do an eyeshadow palette for Marilyn, I feel like this palette should have had a matte cream and a matte white. Like I know that if they were doing this based off of their other eyeshadow palette sizes, that this is the amount of shadows they could have done in here. Maybe they could have extended this palette and added two of those colors in there. I don't know. I just feel like those are missing for a Marilyn Monroe look because she always wore like white eyeshadow and then like a slightly darker color in the crease. So I don't know if I'm gonna do like a straight up Marilyn Monroe eyeshadow look just because I want to experiment with most of the eyeshadows in this palette. In swatching these, I do feel like the, these shades down here were more pigmented than these shades up here. I really had to build those up and also this, oh, I just took a chunk out of it. <laughs> this shade right here, <laughs> the second one down, it's not a full on matte. It's more of a satin matte, satin matte eyeshadow. So <laughs> I'm just going to get some of this shade on the brush there. 
And then I'm just going to, oh, and this eyeshadow palette, it comes in a set with a little eyeshadow brush, like a, like a little, um, flat, it's not super flat, it's kind of fluffy, but like a shader type of brush. So like this and this come in a set together for $9.99. Like everything in, like I said, in this collection is basically $9.99. I do think it's a much better deal if you did want to get everything to get the PR box, but. So that shade, even though it's not completely matte and is more of like a satin matte finish, I do think that's a really beautiful color, like a one and done shade for the lid and up into the crease. And I feel like it just naturally has some dimension to it. So I like that shade. And then right in the crease, I'm going to use the shade right here and this is just the Sigma E25 and I'm just gonna blend that right into the crease sort of in the outer V a little bit little circular motions okay I feel like that shade blends out really easily it's just like a nice mid-tone brown shade I am getting some kick up in the pan there but I feel like that normally happens with wet and wild eyeshadows so so far I feel like this is just as good as any of their eyeshadow palettes that I have tried out okay I'm gonna go in with the bright shimmery white shade and I'm going to put that right underneath the brow and as you can see, like, that is a very, like, highlighted shade. It's almost like a cool toned white. On the lid, I'm going to go in with the shade right here. And let's use the little shader brush that comes with this little palette. Now, this shade, whenever I was swatching it, is really pigmented, and it's a really beautiful color. It's, like, one of my favorite sort of lid shades that I go for, like a rose gold kind of color. And then I'm going to get some of the darkest brown in this palette. I just flipped that brush over, just barely tapped it in there. And I'm just going to tap a little bit of this brown right out here. I have not watched anybody else's review on this collection. So I'm probably doing like the look that everybody else has done <laughs> with this palette. I'm just going to get a little bit more of that brown. Just dab some of it off on this Morphe E05. And I'm just going to blend it up into the grease a little bit. Okay, and then I'm taking a pencil brush. And I'm going to grab some of this shade and I'm going to run it on the lower lash line. Actually, let's use the highlight here in the inner corner, the champ the cool champagne color. And I'm just going to pop that right in here. Okay, so they have a few different eyeliners with this collection. And these two right here, it's the brown color and do these have a color? Yeah, just brown and white. The retractable long-lasting eyeliners when I swatched these these were actually kind of difficult to remove off of the back of my hand with a makeup remover wipe so these are definitely long wearing but their normal breakup proof liners are $3.99 so if you were to get those in a set theoretically they should be like eight dollars so this is a little bit more expensive than like their normal liners but anyway let's go ahead and I want to test out this white in the waterline Normally, if I put a color in the waterline, it's like a flesh tone color. I usually don't do white. Okay, but that like transferred on really easily. This collection came with several different eyeliners. So there was another liner that came with this PR box collection that I ordered. This is the double ended liner and this is in the color black. One in there is a felt tip. And on the other end, there is a brush tip. Now, when I swatch these, it's feathered out into the lines on the back of my hand. 
but the felt tip liner when I used it it did not feather out and it was much darker like the color was much more intense on the felt tip side than on the brush side so if I was to have them redesign this eyeliner what I would have had them do is use felt tip for both and have one side black and one side brown. I feel like that would have been the most ideal situation. I feel like it's kind of weird that it's like it's black on both ends. It's just a different type of brush because honestly, when you look at it between the felt and the brush tip, they don't really even look that much different, like the brush shape. I think what I'm gonna do is, is first go in with the brown retractable pencil and I'm going to use this, maybe smudge it out slightly, and then I'll go in with the liquid liner just so I can use both and show you both in action. So I'm just going to do a slight little wing out here. But yeah, like I said, this stuff, it did last, like it, I had a hard time getting it off of the back of my hand. So it was definitely long wearing. Or I could see where it would be long wearing. Oops. It is kind of hard to smoke it out though, I will say. So that's what the liner looks like. I mean, it was easy to use, but like I said, you can't really smoke this stuff out. So I do like these retractable pencils. I'm going to try to use the liquid liner, but I'm gonna use the felt tip side because like I said, I feel like that side was better. It is super black. Man, it's been a hot minute since I've used black liner. We're just gonna do a little, a little wing. So that's what it looks like there, super quick. I feel like that's pretty good. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore because I don't wanna mess up my liner. So the mascara in this collection is Big Papa, which I have not used this mascara before from Wet n Wild. This is not new. They've had this in their collection for a while, but the brush on this is like the Too Faced Better Than Sex. And the last part of this look is the lips. So they have three different lip products in this collection. Now the lip liner and the lip gloss comes in a set together. And like I said, the regular lipstick and the lip gloss stuff comes in another set. It's like now that like the shine has worn off this, I don't get like that bitter taste. I just really wish that they would have formulated this without the scent so it wouldn't have had that because other than that, I really like this product. So that is just so unfortunate. Whenever I swatched all of these lip products, the lip liner, the lip gloss, and the lipstick, the colors matched so well. So they did a really good job of making sure all these matched. I mean, I feel like this lip gloss stuff has pretty much just worn off and it's just a stain now. So I'm just going to leave that on. And I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this lip liner. Okay, the lip liner shade is really beautiful. This headband is starting to itch my head. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. <laughs> Let's do the lipstick. And like I said, this is also not a long wearing product. This is like a creamy lipstick. It feels really nice though, going on the lips. Super easy to apply, and I do really like this lipstick color. Now this gloss was very pigmented. Like, this color of red is so beautiful, and I do really like how all of these match. So I guess like maybe if you don't mind like your lipstick where you have to reapply it throughout the day, maybe you would really enjoy this set because it does feel creamy and moisturizing, which I mean, it doesn't come in a set like that. It's like these two and these two. 
I think that would have been really cool though if they would have just had all of these in a set for Na Na Ni Na. That would have been nice. Um, but yeah, I do really like the color of this. Okay, so the things that I liked the most from this collection and that I think are worth picking up. A little eyeshadow palette with a little brush. I really enjoy the shades in here. I think they're really beautiful and I feel like I'm going to get a lot of use out of this because I could do a lot of everyday looks with this palette and the little brush was very nice. I think this would also be nice to pick up from the collection just because this brush is a really nice brush and I love the handle on this. And then really the only thing, uh, only other things are the lip products and that I like these because I like the color and I like the way that they feel on the lips, but I feel like they're not going to be extremely long wearing. I normally like to wear a really long wearing red lipstick, so I don't know. Like this is up in the air. Like I kind of like it. I kind of don't. Oh yeah. And also this little headband. I think this was super cute and I would buy this for $5.99. I just think that is super cute. So those are the main things that I would purchase out of this collection if you are interested and you are a Marilyn fan. The other things, they were kind of misses for me. And I'm really upset about that because I really wanted to like this collection. I mean, I do enjoy the mascara and the brow gel, but that's part of their normal line. So if you are a big Marilyn fan and you do want to buy all this makeup, I do suggest buying the PR box. That is the best deal because if you were to buy these things individually, you're going to spend over $105 where the PR box is $79.99. And if you were to divide up by the amount of products, I excluded the little powder puffs because I feel like those are kind of just like freebies, then you would be paying $4.44 for each thing if you are to buy the PR box. You'll have to let me know down in the comments if you are interested to pick anything up from this collection or if you have and what your thoughts are. But I hope that you guys have a great day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.